Hi, Nancy here, and today I want to show you how to do a garter stitch tab cast on. And it's used primarily for top down crescent shaped shawls. And the reason it's so popular is because garter stitch doesn't roll, so it, it puts a nice firm edge and it just looks good. Um, I did kind of a fake little little shawl pattern here so you can get the idea uh, how it works this is actually the tab part this is the part I will be showing you super easy to do I'm gonna give you a demonstration right now okay I already started this typically your pattern will tell you that you're gonna to have to cast on two stitches to five at the most and how many rows you need to knit for the tab as I said before, here is this right here. This is where it all starts. So what you're going to do is you're going to cast on, you know, X amount of stitches. I did three, and you're going to work so many rows. In garter stitch, you know, they will either tell you to work X amount of rows or X amount of ridges. I did 12 rows, six ridges. For my little tab so I started this up so we can get through it a little more quickly and I think I just have a few more to go and I can show you how you pick up the stitches again it's super easy okay so we'll just go our merry way here if you hear any loud booms we're kind of in the midst of a thunderstorm here so nature's providing some fireworks for us so that's always kind of fun right okay two four six eight ten twelve okay so i'm going to go across this row and then we're going to do our pickup okay so once you have enough rolls on your uh tab you're going to take your needle and you're going to go along the edge and you're going to pick up the purl bumps so right along here are your purl bumps so we're going to start and I like to usually pull them up beforehand so they're easier to get under because if you make it too loose then it's sloppy but if you make it really tight you're never going to get your needle in there all right so here we go two four six eight ten twelve so we're going to start right here right here is your first little pearl bump right there okay so you're going to go under it there's our fireworks okay you're going to go underneath and that's your first pickup so we're going to pick up six okay then i'm going to go into this one and again i pull it up first so i can actually get in there Okay, so there's two. Okay, give these a little pull. There's three. And there's four. And then we have, kind of roll it on the side a little bit more so you can see what you're doing. Okay, what did I say? We start out with three, so two, four, five. So we're going to pick up one more. And that's right here. Okay, and there we go. So that one's up. Okay. Now, I would say the trickiest part is picking up the cast on edge right here. So we're going to pick up three because we started with three. And then we have to end with picking up three off the cast on edge. So I just, you know, I kind of look for the best spots to pull it in. Here's one. Okay. And I would say that looks really good right there. And if it doesn't look good, guess what? Just pull your needle out and find another spot. Not too difficult. Okay, so that's two and last but not least we're going to pick up three and i think i'm going to go right here 
Okay, so what do we have here? We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, and there you go. And now your pattern will just tell you where you start increasing, where you set markers, but it will just fan out on either side. But that's how you do a garter stitch tab cast on. Thank you.